There's continued to be heavy shelling in Mariupol, where the city's deputy mayor pleaded for people to be allowed out and for aid to come in. President Zelensky has demanded the... The letter Z has lost its innocence. Russia's symbol of war, now a symbol of terror. This is Mariupol, and call this vandalism by heavy armor. What did this block of flats ever do to get shelled? Or this tire repair shop? Mariupol is guilty of not falling to the Russians. But it's easier to destroy buildings than to destroy the spirit of people fighting for their home. These Ukrainian troops are refusing to give up. And the government acknowledged today that they'd lost 1,300 soldiers so far. But the heaviest price, as ever, is paid by those who cannot fight back. And who cannot find refuge in a war in which hospitals are targets. <laughs> Civilians streamed into a war today that is familiar to anyone who paid attention during the Syrian war. <laughs> Anastasia is inconsolable. <laughs> What words can do this justice? On the road to Mariupol is Volnavaka, a glimpse of the hell to come. The drone footage is silent, which is just as well, because this is now a dead landscape, rendered lifeless by Russian armor. Tanks parked where there should be cars. Church without spire. Bathtub as a fire pit. To the victors, the spoils. The longer it takes Russia to occupy parts of Ukraine, the more it turns all this uninhabitable. An act of vengeance for a war not going to plan, but by no means lost. This was Russian government footage of troops near Kyiv. One wonders what they've been told with their orders. Is it to wrong the rights of a Russia more sinned against than sinning? Do they really feel like victims of Western aggression? What do they truly think they're fighting for in the unwelcoming fields of Ukraine? But they do know what they're fighting for. The Ukrainian citizens of occupied Melitopol converging on the town hall, shouting, bring back our... Vladimir Putin may question the right of this nation to exist, but with every shell, he's making the case for them. Their identity is being forged on the anvil of war. And sung by the opera company of Odessa, a city preparing for a siege, a national anthem once unknown outside Ukraine is now ringing in the world's ears. A Russian missile killed the family in this car on day one of the war. The wreckage is now part of a checkpoint on the road northeast out of Kyiv, next to all the signs of the normal life that they and others used to lead. The strike hit a warehouse complex just outside the dormitory town of Brovary. Electronics in one part, foodstuffs in the other. From here, food is taken to Brovary and to Kiev. So they try to cut off the supply of food to to city. So you don't think this was a stray missile? No, I don't know, no. Because it was like say, it was also grads, also missiles. So it was like several types of. Uh, so it was targeted. Yeah, it was targeted on this definitely. We saw a similar food warehouse hit in the Black Sea port of Mykolaiv, adding to the suspicion that destroying food. Think the artillery is being fired from about ten miles further north. That's the line of defense, and that's the...